Whoops. Hey friends. So we have gone over the Myers family homeschool routine slash schedule, whatever you want to call it. Choose. Um, <laughs> Um, a few weeks ago, and so if you're on Instagram TV or if you're on YouTube, you can go back probably just a couple videos and see that. And then I wanted to take out and break out. I can't wrap. Um, our individual curriculums for a few things. Not for everything, but the ones I'm receiving the most questions about when I post on social media. And so I want to talk to you guys today about our Apologia Bible curriculum and kind of give you my take on it. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and then I'm actually going to show you what it looks like inside of the curriculum, so inside of the book. So we went, I purchased mine through Christian Book Distributors, but you can purchase directly through um, Apologia. So this is the first book in the series. This is called Who is God? And so this is the book that we read together as a family. And then I have the Junior Notebooking Journal for Andy, um, Eli's in kindergarten, so I didn't get one for him um, in hindsight. Now he could have done one of these as well, but I will know that for next year. And right now he's just listening along and he colors pages that I print off that go along with our lessons. So I just find random color pages for him. So then this is Andy's junior journal. And then Annie is using the regular notebooking journal that goes along with the text. Um, and I'll show you guys inside of that in just a minute. But we sit down at the table together and do this curriculum. It's very solid. And we are six weeks into school right now, and I love this. Like, this is, in the years I've been homeschooling, this is my seventh year homeschooling. This is the best Bible curriculum I've used so far. I really love it. I love that I'm enjoying it as the parent, like for me. And I also love that I'm able to sit at this kitchen table with Annie, who's 11, Andy, who's eight, Eli, six, and Ruthie's four, and we all do Bible together. So I'm able to use this book right here, this textbook, it's not super thick, and incorporate all of my kids and their ages, including me, I'm learning too, all together, sitting at the same table, learning and doing our Bible. We do this in the morning, and then at night before bed, we have family devotions as well. And we just finished up the two books, um, Indescribable and How Great Is Our God, which are, there's 100 devotionals in each. You can get those from Amazon or Christian Book Distributors. And we are now hopping into a different one. We haven't really settled on that yet. Um, so, I'm, I'm very pleased. It's broken down into um, sections, so lessons, each lesson inside of this book, um, Who is God, and then sub-lessons within it. So I'm gonna be able, I'm breaking these down, and we're using this for the entire year for school, and just going through a couple sections a day. Um, and then some days we just go through one part because we spend a lot of time on discussion with that, and then we'll work through part in the book and then the kids pull out their journaling and do the journal part whenever we're done with our reading and our prayer and that. So this is the first book in the series, Who is God? And there's actually four total. And then the next one, I have it on my paper here, so I'll say it correctly. So book two is Who Am I? So first you learn Who is God? And then the second curriculum is Who Am I? And the third is Who is My Neighbor? And then the fourth is What on Earth Can I Do? And so I have loved these so much. I plan to go through all of those the next four years, unless something pops up and we decide not to. Um, and you could probably easily go through two of these a year. Um, I'm going to plan on really digging in and using these uh, one per year. So now I'm just gonna kinda um, flip the camera around and show you guys what it looks like inside the books. So we just finished this lesson. Um, today, who are the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? So this is the section on the Trinity, and I just really like how this is laid out, where it lets you read some to your kids, and then there's discussion points. Then these discussion points that are inside of boxes are also unpacked more inside of the journals. And then in each section, in each chapter, there are stories. So then we're able to, this is what uh, keeps my younger kids um, entertained because they're able to listen to the stories too. And then from the stories that are inside of the book, there's more discussion questions. And then thereafter, they pull in the concepts that the stories help explain. And then um, it unpacks each week, there are words to know. So we get to do vocabulary. 
And then we also have um, scripture that is specific for each week. And then inside of the journals, which I'll show you guys in a second, is copy work also as well that goes along with the scriptures for each week. So we just break down our reading into shorter snippets. And then we do a lot of discussion. I really like these for the discussion. And then using the journal that goes along with it for the kids. They are really enjoying their journal. And as you can see, you're just flipping through. There's just different sections each week. This one was on the Trinity. We all really enjoyed it. And then at the end, there's always a section at the end about worldview and teaching your kids how to apply what they know and believe to actually living their life and their worldview and being with other people, which I think is a really big deal because if we can't apply our faith to life, it becomes hard to stick with. <laughs> so we need to be able to explain to others and know, know about our faith and be able to give an answer to people who believe. And then we're building our biblical truths. So we're building our house here, the house of truth through this book. So we just finished Biblical Truth 3. God is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we're building this um, house of truth as we go through each chapter. And we are really enjoying it. So then in the kids' journals, so there's the regular and then here's the junior. They're, you know, able to do coloring and copy work. Andy's getting a lot better. There are some sections where they do, you know, um, crossword puzzles and word finds. I was trying to find. A, so then sometimes they make little craft books where they have things inside. They enjoy this part. And they're, this having this journal to go along with this, I feel like is what makes it easier for the children to sit and listen because they're able to keep their hands busy. I know that's a big deal for my kiddos. But here's another. Um, so here's in between chapters. One of the things I also really like is it gives you additional activities to do if you want it. So it gives you more activities, more books, and then songs that you can sing as a family, and even videos, which we've been using the videos as supplements. Um, we like Veggie Tales, so that's helpful to us as well. So for the junior, and then in um, the regular journal, it's just a little bit. There's more writing. Let's see, crafts or copy work, word finds. I don't really want to show you much of Annie's private stuff. So, um, right here. Whoop, my phone was funny. So, copy work for her as well. So, we have been, we've been really happy with these, and I do plan to continue and finish out with the others. I'll put this right here so you guys can see it, but who is God and how can I know him is what we're in right now. And then, who am I, who is my neighbor, and what on earth can I do? And these are all by Apologia, right here, Apologia, which you can get from directly from Apologia, or I purchase mine through Christian Book Distributors. So I hope that's helpful, and you guys have a great day.